Hi, Virgo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. The moon card, feminine energy that is directly related to Virgo. So something hidden, hidden secrecy, hidden enemy, something contrary. This is also lying to yourself or others or someone lying to you. Something being hidden, the dark side of the moon. What is this about? This is feminine energy too. Mother, you know, maternal Somebody could be hiding a pregnancy or trying to the magician. This could be you, Virgo, hiding something. You could be throwing stones and then you hide in your hand. You could be throwing some magic, doing some moon magic or doing something to manipulate the energy. The six of cups to bring somebody back, friend, loved one. Bring somebody back to you that is still alive okay um the queen of pentacles yeah you definitely are doing some magic here i can do magic with the two of wands um maybe to get your way this could be a love spell this could be in regards to money um some of you are trying to change your fortune uh, some of you are just trying to change the trajectory of a relationship trying to bring somebody back yet yeah, you're trying to make somebody stop cheating stop being loose in their ways or um stop philandering or you know being an infidel with the knight of wands in reverse you're trying to stop somebody from um just being out there being a little dot 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 all right there's someone's trying to do this yeah you're trying to have reversal with the five of swords i don't know if this is going to reverse back on you be careful of trying to manipulate somebody's uh, free will the ten of wands yeah it could be could be blowback could be dealing with um, Sagittarius I'm trying to get them to stop doing something with the the five of swords um it's it's trying to put distance in between this person and something that they've chosen to do or that they're doing you're trying to create you know law out of lawlessness order you want this person to be in order or do something in order or um <clears throat> have some order decorum okay to how they treat you or what they do six of wands you want uh, victory you want a proposal you want them to be on a public you know you want them to put you out to the public friends family um you want victory here with the king of swords could be uh libra it could be Gemini or Aquarius also. Uh, it could be Scorpio. It could be Capricorn. It's like you want this person to choose you. Come out of the bachelor lifestyle. Stop being narcissistic. Stop wanting to be like the eternal bachelor you want them to choose you. You have the emperor. You want them as a husband or a husband figure. Um, they could be the father of maybe your children or you could be going to your father. You could be asking God to change their ways. Eight of wands. You're trying to attract this person or be attractive to this person or get them to... Um, be yeah attracted to you infatuated with you obsessed with you wanting you you trying to remove blockage also remove blocks so that you guys can be together the queen of cups you could be putting something out there intuition mind's eye you're trying to definitely um maybe sway this person the Hierophant, Guidance, Traditional. It's like you want this person to
choose a traditional way with you or you're trying to maintain a traditional relationship or some type of relationship with this person knight of cups so you get a lot of knights it could have been false starts between the two of you in in no progression lots of false starts and no progression You were hanging around waiting for something to change or they were six of pentacles giving your time energy love to somebody who was all about themselves the sun card with the ace of swords and the nine of cups here the lovers This could this could have been like a carefree, str no strings attached uh, relationship where you were just a lover, you know, sexual companion. This person could have already been married. There's no room for growth here. There's no confidence in this relationship ever moving to... You know, a long-term marriage. Because somebody's already married. They feel like they have the perfect life where they get to be their perfect person. And then they get to sneak around and be deceptive. And they don't have to be committed in some other relationship. This is a lot going on, Virgo. Um, Someone likes portraying to the world that they are just, you know, this perfect energy and this perfect person and that they've got it all un under control let me see what does the kipper deck have to say for virgo what do we have to say for okay yeah mature male man um definitely this is somebody here who has more than one person and he's okay with it, comfortable in it. He's got secrets, family room. He'd already be married. He leaves this other woman, you know, in, in an air of expectation. When am I going to hear from him again? When am I going to see him? Community. Somebody wants to be in a public platform or somebody has a lot of minions or followers or people who just do whatever. Yeah, in, in terms of their occupation, somebody could be very successful or public, public. There's a third party here. Here's three. This person doesn't want this to get out because they don't want to mess up their honor, their good name. Somebody keeps distance between the third party, though. Like, okay, yeah, we can have fun, but then I'm going back home. Home may be miles away, you know. And it leaves this other person locked in their emotions and their thoughts. Yeah, wow. Really desperate or in despair or, or hurt. Once again, feeling like, you know, there's no room for me in this person's life. There's somebody doing energy work, though. It's petty little energy work to get them to choose them. Somebody's trying to get a love partner to choose them. Could be an older woman or a mature woman or a smart woman a single woman at that too who's trying to get this relationship out of sex only yeah she's trying to get it to go in a different direction somebody could be trying to get this wealthy man to change his whole life this is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates. Down in the comment section, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. I want to say, okay, a word of advice for you, uh, Virgo. Advice for Virgo. Advice for Virgo. Two of Pentacles. Things are still up in the air. There's a lot going on. Keep juggling. You got this. Um, keep doing what you need to do. Um, things will be revealed to you. All all these works. Works of you. Works of other people. Um, you got to reconcile something. Four of Pentacles. This could even be in regards to your money. Ace of Wands. 
if this is not money, then this is somebody is juggling you and keeping somebody outside of the relationship. This is somebody that they visit on the outskirts of maybe town or again, somebody could live far. This motivation is sex. This person keeps distance. They don't want this person close to the home. This could be you, Virgo. It could be somebody you don't want. Yeah, death card. Somebody's definitely doing some energy work to get them to stop or choose them or ch get a new direction, especially if it's a Pisces or a Sagittarius. Somebody wants love to begin again. This is what I have for you. Thank you for being here. Get your own personal reading. Come see me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ask a bunch of questions by texting it to the number below. Uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.